is a video for discoverdigitalphotography.com to show you how to straighten a crooked horizon in an image in Photoshop Elements and also the full version of Photoshop. Uh, the process is pretty similar with most other imaging editing software as well. So to start off with, I'll show you how to um, straighten a horizon in Photoshop Elements. So you need to use this straighten tool, which is over here in the tool palette, and it looks a bit like two blue squares with um, one of them straight and the other one a bit wonky. So we click on that. Um, you'll see up here you've got a number of different options. I'll go through those in just a second. Uh, first of all, you need to make sure that you clicked on the layer for the tool to be able to work. Um, so at the moment we're on crop to remove background. This is probably the um, sort of type of straightening that you'll want to do most of the time. Um, what it does is it will straighten the image and it will automatically um, crop out um, sort of the sides that go outside of the image once it's been rotated. So you just click once with the left mouse button and then you hold it down and drag it out to where the straight line should end. So I'm clicking once at the um, left of the horizon and then dragging it out to the right of the horizon because that should be straight and then I'm going to let go of the mouse button and it's automatically straightened the image for me. That was nice and easy. Um, and just undo that and I'll show you the other options up here. Um, so there's grow to shrink canvas, grow or shrink canvas to fit. So if we click on that um, and what this will do is it will automatically expand the canvas so that the rotated image will fit inside it without any of it being cropped off. So again click on the left side of the image or you could click on the right it doesn't matter really um, and then drag over to the other side of the image um, along a straight line and then let go of the mouse and you can see here it's got some um, invisible pixels around the side of the image where it's been rotated but it's kept the full image within the canvas. So I'm just going to undo that again and then crop to original size. What this one will do is it will rotate the image but it won't crop the image at all and it won't expand the canvas either. So you'll get some parts that are invisible pixels and some parts of the image that's gone outside of the canvas. So again, click and drag along a straight line, let go of the mouse, and there you go. So that's what that one looks like. So I'm just going to undo that again. So most of the time, you'll just want to use crop to remove background. And make sure you're clicked on a layer. Click, hold the mouse down, drag it out along a straight line, let go, and then it automatically straightens the image for you. And I'll just show you the same thing in the full version of Photoshop now. And this is very similar. Um, so over here on the tool palette, I'm selected on the crop tool. And then in the crop tool options up the top here, you can see there's something called straighten. So we just click on this little straighten icon here and then it's the same as in Photoshop Elements. Left click, hold the mouse button down, drag it out, let go, and then it's automatically straightened the image for us. And in the full version of Photoshop, we can change the crop ourselves. Um, so we could drag the handles out to the corners if we wanted it to expand the canvas automatically. Or we can just double click on it to apply the crop that it's got now, which is going to automatically crop off the edges of the image and give us a nice straight image. So that's it really.